What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Crypto Beard, the channel devoted to keeping you in the know with everything that's happening in the crypto sphere. And there has been a lot. Of course, everybody knows about the big FTX scandal, but let's break it down because there's a lot of false things going on in the news. And I want to really set up an, a very clear chronological timeline showing the domino effect of what ultimately led to FTX's demise. So with that said, let's look first off at the report that came out by Coindesk, uh, Ian Allison on November 2nd, which showed that approximately $5.8 billion in assets were FTT tokens out of $14.6 billion in total assets. Now, FTX said, no, that's not right. We have more in assets later on after that report that came out. But really, when that report came out, the damage was done. And so Binance, then I believe it was on November 5th or November 6th, had announced via Twitter that they would be liquidating all of their FTT holdings. And they said this wasn't a knock on FTX. However... <laughs> CZ did put in a tweet there where he made it very clear that there was an issue with the fact that Sam had been lobbying basically against other players in the crypto in industry. And if there's one thing that we can learn from this situation, it's that you don't mess with CZ. So after Binance makes this announcement, Alameda Research, which was the report that we were talking about, that was about Alameda Research's holdings. A lot of people get uh, Alameda Research and FTX confused, uh, and that's understandable because Alameda Research gave birth to FTX. Uh, a lot of the same people, a lot of the same players, so that's understandable. But they end up reaching out to Binance and say, hey, look, we've heard that you guys want to liquidate your holdings. That's understandable. We are willing to buy them at $22 a token. And this was basically market is what their offer was at the time. And if you're wondering, well, how could they offer that? Well, there's a big difference in paying one firm off and then having a bank run, which causes the value to uh, just go down massively instantly. And so <laughs> CZ Binance says, negatory Starfighter, we are going to take this to the open market. Now I can only think of one reason to take it to the open market because you're not likely to get market price at the open market when you put in an offer that, an order that huge because here's the thing, who is out there saying, hey, yeah, 600 mil of FTT? Yeah, I'll take it, go ahead, throw it this way. It's a great time to buy. No, in fact, the opposite sentiment is out there and anytime you put a sell order like that, the question comes up, why are you selling? And that is exactly what happened. Uh, you see a huge shift downward in the price of FTT and then on I believe it was November 7th <laughs> my hands puts up on Twitter I'm not laughing because I find out I find pain and suffering funny but it's just these situations are so crazy to me how you can have such a massive shift and loss of value so quickly and uh, so Binance announces that they are going to, you know, acquire FTX. They said FTX reached out to them for help. And so they've, they submitted a non-binding LOI. And now they're going to be begin doing their due diligence uh, in the coming days ahead. I quote days because in less than 24 hours after that, they had announced that, nope, lost cause. We can't do anything. Adios, you know, feel bad for everybody who lost, who's losing money, but nah, sorry, it's too far gone. And I, to me, this is just very clearly a situation where CZ saw the opportunity to, uh, to basically kneecap his competition 
and he did and i don't think that it was and and i know right now they're saying oh no we didn't do that yeah he, he kind of did but uh, it's understandable because who wants to be left holding that bag? Who wants to see their competitors basically wage war against them with legislation and things like that? And for there not to be any reper repercussions from that, that's perfectly understandable. So no faulting CZ for that, but that is basically what happened, which ultimately led to FTX declaring bankruptcy. I declare bankruptcy now let's look at the news media and how they're portraying this as a ponzi scheme guys this really isn't a ponzi scheme it's a, a situation where things were clearly mismanaged and i know a bit boy did a video about ftx and the scam and how you know the house cards come falling down you look look i get that that's fine you guys can go watch that in my view of things, this is not like some mastermind collapse because if it was, the people who were masterminding the collapse would have set themselves up better. Uh, I think this is a series of events that they did not plan for and did not foresee because they were not properly hedging themselves against huge market swings. And so anytime that you leave that window open, this is kind of that possibility. And so that's my thoughts around that. I don't believe that this was some huge Ponzi scheme. And, and really guys, what I really hate that right now is being said, thrown out in the media is that this is the matter with crypto. No, crypto is about decentralization. And had FTX been a decentralized exchange where they didn't have access to all these funds, to lend on, they might not have been in this predicament. However, that also probably would have meant SBF wouldn't have been quite as uh, rich as what he was at one point. However, all good things come to an end sometimes, and that's sad. But guys, <laughs> as they say, you know, the future favors the bold, and <laughs> that's never been true. Like right now, there's a lot of awesome buying opportunities while people are selling and so uh, it's a great a great time to take advantage of some some situations out there i was looking at uh at, at kadena kda it's down right now if you bought it and it returned to its former highs you could make over 2800 percent which is crazy to think of but totally possible in this space but hey that's all i have for you guys today that's my thoughts tell me what your thoughts are maybe you think i'm wrong and i'm open to hearing that down in the comments below so feel free to to tell me what you think hit that like button or that dislike button whatever it's your choice but that's it for now guys that's all i have so look forward to coming at you with more content here in the future until then peace